I'm getting ready to lay out and then nail together this wall. I have all of these pre-cut and I have them all ready to lay into the design. I'm going to be laying them out under my canopy and that's the bathroom header for that long window. Here's my base plate and that one there is the top plate. So I'll take a couple of uh, off the stack here, lay them out as my king studs on the ends, uh, do my cripples and get started laying them out. But this is where I'm going to work and then I will nail them all together if they all fit, God willing. So I need to build this wall again the, and the way to do that is I find out what my measurement is for my top board and my bottom board. I check my key. The top plate is going to be 96 and a half. The sill plate is 100 inches. So I've gone to my stacks of wood and I collected out the 96 inch for the top. And then down here, I laid out another one. This is the 100. I need to mark top plate and the sill plate. And I mark them all at the same time so that I get the same measurements at the top as on the bottom. Using my sketches of the wall, this is the wall I did first. It's the port side that is this view. And when I flip it upside down, it's the starboard view. So I'll have two identical walls that are on either side of the house. So the first thing I did was notice that I had recessed in three and a half inches on the bottom plate and on the top plate before my first king stud. And that is because the other wall will be coming this way and so it's a two by four wide so i recessed it in a two by four wide so the first thing i did was started measuring from the end i went in three and a half inches to the, and i marked where the king stud is and then i used a an actual chunk of two by four and i ran it there and marked another line and then i carried that up to the other board because this is for the other wall that'll be the top plate the other wall will be reversed. So I did the king stud, cripple stud with jack stud for the loft, the king studs, etc. I've got them all marked out. So here these two are both 123 and three quarters and those are my king studs. They're going to be recessed in at the top according to the mark I made there and this is three and a half inches where the other wall will be. So uh, this lines up with these two marks here. That's my king. Here's another one here lined up with this king. They're not attached yet. As you see, I'm just laying it out first. So I got those two in, which represents these two here. Now I need to get another one that's a king on this end. So I'll go back over here. Here's another 123 and three quarters. I'll get one of those and I'll put it running down that side as the king plate there and I will need this jack stud and this jack stud to hold up this header for this window. Now I look at my key and I see that these are 66 and a quarter. So I'm going to go and find, here's one of them right here. They should be together. Yes, 66 and a quarter. I'll pull these two out and they'll be my jack studs. So I'm going to take these two 66 and a quarter and I'm going to lay them over here. The loft beams, the joists for the loft are going to be four by fours. So I need the width of two of them to hold up a four by four. So these two jacks are literally going to be to hold up one beam on one uh, joist for the loft. And I'll do that on this jack, uh, this king stud and on that one. So there'll be a a loft joist there and a loft joist here at the tip of those. Now I have in place these three king studs, that king stud 
over there, the long one, and those three long ones that go all the way to the top up there. I also have these loft studs, the yellow here, are the doubles here and doubles there. Then this is the jack that goes up. It's ready for the header for this lower window here. And that's this header here, which is the two by six that I made. And then I'll bring over the sill and then the four cripple studs. Okay, so that's what I gotta go get. So I'm gonna go over here and look for the header, which is down here. This here is the header that I made. I have to get the bathroom header and I can't carry it with one hand. Put it into place on top of the jack stud like that and the header See, this wall, of course, is laying flat on this concrete pad for level. The, the purpose of a header is to span the opening and carry the weight of the roof and the uh, load of the loft down to the trailer base and ultimately down to the ground. Support that, we're going to need these jack studs, but the header itself lays on its long edge. This is spanning a five foot area, so that's two by sixes. There's two of them there with the half inch plywood between, which makes the distance between three and a half to match up with the thickness of a two by four, as you see over there, it's exactly the same depth. So that will carry the weight across this window. Now, right now, I'm going to go look up the upper window and those cripples and the little header piece that goes across there, and then this one should be ready to assemble. Now that I have the pieces assembled, I'm going to flip this, this top, uh, this is the sill plate. It will attach this way, and we nail into the ends of the studs but I want to make sure I have everything. There's the king, that's this one. The double loft joist, that's those. Another king, the double is those, so we're good there. And we got another king and a jack. If I go this way, you can read it. A jack, a king. Then there's the cripple for the window. And another cripple here, that's this one. And then I'll have the window sill goes across there. I have cut these at a very slight bevel so that this window sill will tip outwards and drain any water that catches in there. There's the other cripple marked, cripple marked, the jack, the king, and it's in three and a half inches from the end. So I'm ready to start nailing these in. Of course you bring these down now before I nail these two into the end into here before I attach these I'm gonna nail these together so I'll put a clamp on them to hold it and then I'll nail them together so there's extra extra structural strength and they don't bow out from each other uh, under the weight and then where there are three together such as these I, before I nail into the end, I will nail the two together, and after those two are together, then I'll add the third one on, so I can nail from inside here and inside there. And uh, that's how I start the nailing process. This is as much as I got done today of that wall. It's thundering now, so I think I'll pack it in.